Celestron Next Star and Celestron Evolution are two different telescope series from Celestron. The telescopes in the Evolution series are expensive compared to the Next Star series telescopes. But many people might get confused while choosing the telescopes from these two series. The Celestron Next Star 6SE and Celestron Next Star Evolution both are 6 inch aperture telescopes. So today in this video, we will compare these two telescopes. Let's see the details of the Celestron Next Star 6SE. The telescope has a 6 inch aperture, its focal length is 1500 millimeters, and focal ratio is 10. The telescope comes with one 25 millimeter eyepiece, and you can get 60 times magnification with this eyepiece. The highest useful magnification of this telescope is 354 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 21 times. The optical tube assembly weighs 8 pounds, around 3.6 kilograms, and the total weight of the kit is 9.5 kilograms. Let's see the details of the Celestron Next Star Evolution 6. This telescope also has a 6 inch aperture. Its focal length is also 1500 millimeters with a focal ratio of 10. This telescope comes with two eyepieces. One is 40 millimeters and the other is 13 millimeters. You get 38 times magnification with a 40 millimeter eyepiece and 115 times magnification with a 13 millimeter eyepiece. As both telescopes have the same aperture and focal length, so the highest and lowest useful magnification of these telescopes is similar. The highest magnification is 354 times, and the lowest is 21 times. The optical tube assembly of Evolution 6 weighs 10 pounds, around 4.5 kilograms. The total weight of the Evolution telescope kit is 38 pounds, around 17.5 kilograms. It is much heavier than the next star 6SE. The reason for this is the mount of the Evolution telescope is heavier and has a higher load carrying capacity than the mount of the Next Star 6SE telescope. The Next Star 6SE has a computerized alt azimuth single fork mount. The weight of the mount is 11 pounds, around 5 kilograms. The load carrying capacity of this mount is 12 pounds, around 5.5 kilograms. The tripod on which this mount sits has a weight of 9 pounds, around 4 kilograms. The Next Star Evolution 6 also has a computerized alt azimuth single fork mount. The weight of this mount is 16 pounds, around 7 kilograms. The load carrying capacity of this mount is 25 pounds, around 11 kilograms. The tripod on which this mount sits has a weight of 12 pounds, around 5.5 kilograms. The Evolution 6 not only has a higher load carrying capacity, but also has a built-in battery. This battery will keep your telescope running for about 10 hours. It will automatically go into power saving mode when the battery is low. The tripod's height adjustment range of Evolution 6 is more compared to Next Star 6SE. The Evolution 6 also has built in Wi Fi. With inbuilt Wi Fi, you can use the telescope with your smartphone through Celestron's mobile apps. The gears and the motor drive used on this telescope are of high quality, which give you super smooth and accurate tracking. What can you see with these telescopes? Both telescopes have almost identical optical tube assemblies with Celestron Starbright XLT coating for maximum light throughput. You can see the details of the moon and planets. You can also see the cloud bands of Jupiter with these telescopes. Observing the ink division on Saturn's ring will not be an issue with these telescopes. If you're willing to do astrophotography with these telescopes, then Evolution 6 will be better, as the tracking accuracy is good on this telescope. You can capture deep sky objects like the Orion Nebula by attaching your DSLR to this telescope. As both telescopes have an alt azimuth mount, so for long exposure astrophotography with these telescopes, you will need a wedge to convert it into an equatorial mount. If you don't know what are the different types of mounts, then make sure you watch this video. Which one should you buy from these two? If you're confused about which one to buy from these two, then the first parameter you should consider is the price. As both telescopes have almost identical optical tube assemblies, so the images you will see will be almost the same with slight changes here and there. So if you have budget constraints, 
then you should go with the Nexstar 6SE. For many people, the weight of the telescope is an important thing. The Evolution 6 has almost double the weight of the Nexstar 6SE. So if you're someone who wants to travel to remote locations for stargazing nights and looking for a good grab-and-go big aperture telescope, then you should go with the Nexstar 6SE. The Evolution 6 is more focused on improving your overall experience, making it very smooth and enjoyable. So the Evolution 6 telescope does have some real advantages over the Nexstar 6SE. It has a built-in battery, Wi-Fi, and worm gears for smooth tracking. With the built-in rechargeable battery, you will not be dealing with the hassle of attaching extra batteries. With the Wi-Fi, you can control the telescope easily with your phone, so that's a really good added advantage. The mount of the Evolution series is slightly heavier, and a heavier mount will offer more stability, which improves your overall experience. Compared to the Nexstar 6SE Evolution 6, can be set up faster. So basically, whatever improvements you need when you use Nexstar 6SE are available in the Evolution 6 telescope. So if price is not an issue, then you should definitely go for the Evolution 6 telescope over the Nexstar 6SE. That doesn't mean that the Nexstar 6SE is an inferior telescope. Nexstar 6SE is one of the best telescopes available in the market, which offers great views and experience for the price you pay for. We have explained this in detail in this video. If you buy any of these two telescopes, they both will serve you long term. The main difference between the two telescopes is the Evolution 6 will offer you a much better and smoother experience compared to the Nexstar 6 SE. Which one should you go for completely depends on your needs and mainly the budget.